What will cities of the future look like? From drone taxis to a futuristic city that really acts more like a testing site on its residents, on this episode of Built a Billion, we uncover what life will look like by the year 2030 with five of the most impressive megacities of the future. And stay till the end of the video to see the most futuristic city of them all. And if you love to hear about all the mega projects of the world, please hit that subscribe button and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Oceanic City Did you know that cities can float? Yeah, they can. And one is coming to Busan, South Korea, where the UN is funding the construction of the world's first floating city. The project is known as Oceanics and is slated to cost $200 million with a completion date of 2025. Set on a stunning blue lagoon, the structure will be made of 15.5 acres of interconnected hexagonal platforms that are connected by bridges. The platforms will be strengthened by a limestone coating twice the strength of concrete and they're also buoyant, obviously. Busan is a coastal city and like many other coastal cities, it's threatened by rising sea levels and the floating city idea provides a solution to an unavoidable problem. The city is floodproof as it rises with the sea and it can even withstand Category 5 hurricanes. The floating city in Busan would produce its own food energy and there'd be floating cages under the platforms that could host a variety of seafood. Meanwhile, greenhouses and integrated systems will produce 100% of the energy for the island and aquaponic systems could also be utilized to turn fish waste into fertilizer. This is quite the project and one that will make the world stop once complete. Woven City, Japan Toyota is setting its sights on becoming the world leader in smart city technology by building something called Woven City. Woven City is a fully connected city that doubles as a testing grounds to be located at the base of Mount Fuji on 175 acres of land. It's a city where the residents become test subjects to put it plainly. Toyota even calls the city a living lab, which is a little weird, but it will run on hydrogen fuel cell energy tech and solar power. For one, the project will test smart mobility with three different roads that serve different purposes. The first is for autonomous vehicles managed by AI. The second is for cyclists and scooters. And the third is for pedestrians. The city features a mobility for all theme. And so along with people moving from place to place, fleets of autonomous electric shuttles will even deliver goods. Homes will be made of wood to reduce the carbon footprint. Residents will monitor their health with AI-powered sensors and robots will help people out with tasks. In Woven City, people will eat innovative food based in cutting-edge molecular science. So, everything down to what residents ingest is pre-thought. 360 people will be sent into Woven City as a test group, and from there, they tend to gradually grow to 2,000. At this point, researchers and engineers will be able to test their latest technologies in real urban environments. This $10 billion mega project is expected to open in 2024. Starbase Elon Musk Twitter drama aside, one of his latest endeavors is to create a city in Texas called Starbase, right next to his rocket launch site in Boca Chica. From here, spacecraft will take astronauts to the moon. After an extensive environmental assessment conducted by the US Federal Aviation Administration, Elon got to work establishing the city in early 2021. But what would this city consist of? Most likely it's an expansion for SpaceX operations and it would be a city to house those who work at the launch site as well as serve as a tourist destination for those who wish to see a rocket launch. There may even be a science themed amusement park placed in there somewhere. But SpaceX will have to meet some population and territorial criteria before Starbase officially starts construction. But it seems like Elon might have had his hands full as of late, so we'll see where this goes. The Line Saudi Arabia famously mixes an extremely traditional culture 
with high-tech futurism. They're also responsible for undertaking the most ambitious project in the world, Neom. This mega city will pop up in the desert and extend 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, announced this smart, fully automated city in 2017, and it's designed to be 33 times bigger than New York City with its three separate districts. The first is The Line, a 60 kilometer long, zero carbon emission city with capacity for 1 million residents. Then you have Oxagon, a seven car floating port that will become the biggest floating industrial complex in the world. And lastly, there's Trojina, a new mountain tourist destination like you've never seen before. Here, there will be year-round outdoor skiing, a wellness resort, and interactive nature reserve. Aside from these main features, Neom will feature drone taxis and a giant artificial moon that lights up every night. Just like most futuristic cities, it aims to be powered by solar, wind, and other forms of green energy. But what about water scarcity in the middle of the desert? Well, Neom has an answer for that too. They supposedly plan to use pioneering tech to turn fresh water into salt water using sunlight. This project could cost near $1 trillion, and according to experts, it's as unlikely as it is ambitious. Millennium City Located 70 kilometers outside the capital of Manila, Millennium City is essentially a combination of four major cities and 11 municipalities that form what hopes to be the Philippines' quote, modern city of the future. Its 44,000 square meter area will be populated by numerous structures inspired by metamodern and neo-futurist architecture. To go with this will be green spaces with intelligent systems designed to respond to collected data on lighting, movements, air quality, weather conditions, and more. Drone technology will be used in the cars, delivery service, and as a surveillance method, while at the same time providing accurate data requisition as well. New technologies for water recycling will be implemented, and energy from the sun and wind will be farmed together by solar-wind hybrid alternative energy harvesters. The most notable aspect of this city, however, is that Millennium City will be powered by its own waste-to-energy facility and features a fully automated system with three core processes of waste regeneration. These processes are sorting, transporting, and storing. Once complete, Millennium City will be the first to effectively manage their solid waste. What do you think about these futuristic mega cities? Which one would you live in? Let me know in the comments below. I'll link a specific video to one of these mega cities up on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.